all right hello and welcome back everyone so before we go ahead and jump into today's video uh, i do want to go ahead and throw out a couple announcements so right now we do still have two double points events happening for the ie championship that we have going on between gameology and collectible exchange uh the first of which will be at collectible exchange on the 23rd of this month and i believe that what is it uh march 23rd and then the last one will be on uh, March 31st over at Gameology. Uh, I would also like to go ahead and announce that the last week of the tournament will go ahead and be played exclusively over at Gameology um, because Collectible Exchange is going to be moving locations. So to go ahead and make sure that they don't have to worry about us being there. And, you know, that way they're able to go ahead and move very seamlessly to the new location uh we are going to be able we are going to be hosting uh their normal wednesdays and saturday tournaments over at gameology at the same time that they would be played over at collectible exchange uh once again the season ends on the 31st so if you want to go ahead and get some last minute points in i definitely do recommend going ahead and uh you know swinging on by uh, i will have some information on the screen here shortly and i think that's really it i don't think we have any other big tournaments happening right now uh, I know there are going to be the Arbet announcements soon, or maybe they've already been announced. I haven't really uh, kept up too much, but I do know that the Arbet that is happening in California uh, will be happening at the new Collectible Exchange location. So uh, more information on that to follow soon. I uh, don't really know when soon is, but uh, we will be having that soon. And I believe that is it. I will be uploading, you know, catching up on footage as well as we're gonna be doing something. I am gonna be doing something new for whenever we do the top eights for the, you know, the championship. Uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure out the last little couple of details for it, but we will be doing something new and uh, hopefully you all will enjoy it. So, all right, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below your favorite parts. Maybe the misplays, I don't know, uh, but you know, let me know. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Oh, all right, hello and welcome back everyone. So uh, here we go with, uh, I believe this is from uh, Gameology on March the 2nd. Uh, there will be no camera for this video. I am extremely tired and I would really like to go to bed right now. But, uh, you know, we got to record. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I am uh, round one. Uh, I forget uh, my opponent's name, but he is someone that's uh, starting to get back at Edison and uh, started coming to the locals. Uh, very chill dude. Uh, very, uh, like, very chill. And it's it's always nice to just have someone chill to play against. So uh, I'm over here playing, uh, you know, my uh, tried and true quick draw deck and I believe he is playing uh, Vayu Turbo if I am correct so he's going to go ahead and he won the die roll he went first, he went ahead and summoned Armageddon Knight, Pitch the Necrogardena, just going ahead and make sure that he has a tribute for next turn uh, for whatever it is that I summon, which is you know, pretty good, pretty nice way to go ahead and uh, just have a monster on board for a tribute for Caius so uh, I do MST in the draw phase. Just go ahead and hit the back row. It was an MST. So we're going to go ahead and foolish. Go ahead and pitch Dandelion. Go ahead and get our token. Summon that Lone Fire. Lone Fire effect. Tribute. We go ahead and summon our Titanial. And we're going to go ahead and enter battle. Swing. He will go ahead and Necrogardena to go ahead and protect. Which is all fine and dandy. Uh, I will go ahead and pass the turn. So he will go ahead and draw for turn. Uh, looks like he, what, he's got two... He's got two traps, one of them's a solemn. He does have plague in hand. Or I believe it's plague greffer and like oh plague greffer and dad. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and summon. He will go ahead and synchro for six. He will go ahead and make Goyo Guardian. Um does he go for a crash here? Yeah, he is gonna go for a crash, which is fine. He's gonna go ahead and set two cards and pass the turn. We're gonna go stand by main. We're gonna go ahead and go um Lone Fire Fad, we're going to go ahead and Tribute, Summon, he will go ahead and Solemn that. We'll go ahead and Solemn Summon, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and I'll, I'll gladly go ahead and, uh, you know, burn for 4,000 right there. 
I do still have my normal summons. So I will set a guard and pass it on over. You go ahead and set a back row and uh, he will go ahead and go plague effect. He will stack the plague. He will go ahead and tribute summon for the Caius, banish the face down. It was my morphing jar. He'll swing in, kill my lone fire and pass the turn. I'll go ahead and set a card and set a monster and pass it over. Uh, he'll swing in with the Caius. It is a Sangin. We'll go ahead and grab a dandelion. Uh, add that to hand and he'll go ahead and pass it back over to me. I'll go stand by main. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and go special summon quick draw. Pitch the dandy. Uh, nothing on summon. We will go ahead and avarice right then and there. Go ahead and keep in the dandy and the lone fire in the graveyard so that we can go ahead and keep on utilizing it with quick draw or with, uh, yeah, or with uh, drill warrior. So now we'll go ahead and synchro. We'll go ahead and make our drill warrior. Uh, we will go drill warrior effect here, I believe, to go ahead and banish. I don't believe I attack since he does have a back row. Oh no, I do attack. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm done. Oh, that's right, because I had another quick draw on hand. That's why. So we'll just go ahead and make another quick draw. Go effect. Uh, the pitch. I'll set a monster and pass the turn. The joys are just not even summoning and still just being able to just advantage like that is kind of crazy. He will go ahead and summon Greffer. He will swing in. Uh, it will hit the hamster. He will take 100. And I'll go ahead and get a Raiko. And does he swing in on the Raiko? No, he goes ahead and clears my hamster and then passes over. I'll go ahead and draw a standby, bring out Treeborn. Uh, standby, bring out Drill Warrior. We'll go ahead and grab our Lone Fire. We're going to go uh, Effective Banish. So we'll go ahead and pitch. Uh, oh, we'll pitch a Sangin. Then we'll mill three, but we'll pop the back row, which was his return from a different dimension. We'll go ahead and summon out Lone Fire. Go ahead and summon out Lone Fire, bring out Titanial. We'll enter battle, swing over the Greffer. And then yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and pass the turn now i do have caius and treeborn which is pretty deadly and so if that caius stays on board it's kind of it's kind of bad so he'll go ahead and swing over my raiko i'll go ahead and bring out drill warrior i'll go ahead and grab the caius i'll banish i'll swing in and that's gonna be a total game right there yeah, that's one of the reasons why I really like having Treeborn as like a one of, or maybe I've been thinking of maybe making it a two of in the deck. Uh, just for having like that just free recursion during the standby phase uh, to just go ahead and like turn any and all of my monarchs into just, into just like, it just makes them feel a lot better. Uh, especially with uh, Drill Warrior just coming back, just like I have a guarantee that's like, if I want to Kaius you, I can Kaius you. Like if you, you know, if you bottomless my Caius, you know, it is what it is, but uh, I'm still going to go ahead and get the Caius and I'm going to make you burn some resources to, to deal with it or else I'm, you just keep on destroying it and then I'll just keep on getting it back and just start, keep on banishing your field. So we're going to go ahead and go into the siding here. I did take game number one. Also, if you guys enjoy these videos, please don't forget to go ahead and like the video drop a comment down below of what you enjoyed from the video maybe some uh, some stuff that you've seen in there that you really liked or you didn't like i don't know and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that way you know i can keep on making this content for you all, all right, let's go ahead and get forward a little bit so my opponent will be going first again yeah you know, we're gonna go ahead and see he's gonna go ahead and bring out uh, he'll bring out the Greffer. He will go ahead and pitch the Gardener that was in his hand. And he's going to go ahead and send a Vayu. Uh, does he go ahead and send anything else? No, he does not. Looks like he has, was that Soul Release and like another spell? So he will just go ahead and pass it over to me. I'll go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and go. I don't remember my hand here. Okay, we're still got We're just going to normal summon. Uh, car trooper we did some good mills all right we get some good mills uh, we'll go ahead and activate the shell effect we'll go ahead and grab another shell from the deck out of hand for a measly cost of 500 uh, we are going to go ahead and go one for one pitching that shell to go ahead and bring out i believe our tree board here right or did i set it out no uh we cut the sideboard in and then we're going to pay another 500 go ahead and grab another shell just completely loading up our graveyard and just going ahead and getting our uh treeborn like 
out there and uh, ready to go. So we will go ahead and special summon our quick draw. We will go ahead and synchro. And now we're going to definitely just go ahead and clear the. So what was nice about this to go ahead and clear the. To just have monsters on board to where like, even if he was the Gardener, I'm clearing his monster regardless. So he doesn't burn the Gardener, but he does go ahead and Armageddon, send a Sirocco. And I think he value effects here, and he's just gonna start putting in some damage. Yeah, here he goes. He's gonna go ahead and go value effect. I bring out a armed wing and start putting in some serious damage. He'll swing in. I'll take a thousand. I'll draw. He'll swing in. I'll take twenty three, which is fine, I think. Okay, I think he is. Yeah, he is gonna go ahead and soul release here. He's gonna go ahead and hit the tree boar. He's gonna hit the quick draw, Ryko. And I think he hit two shells. If I'm correct, yeah, he did. Uh, he'll set a back row and pass it on over. We're going to go ahead and draw. We do draw into the MST. We're going to go ahead and hit the back row just in case it is anything funky. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our Sangin. We will go recharge, mill, hope to mill dandy in all honesty, or, any, or just something else to get into the graveyard for Drill Warrior. So we will go, I assume, enter battle here. And I think we just clear over the armed wing. Oh, never mind. We're going to go ahead and summon debris. We're going to bring out card trooper, card trooper effect mill. We are going to go ahead and synchro and go ahead and make a, yeah, we'll make a, a bleep, 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 bleep. Um, wow. Agent fairy dragon, uh, swing in, clear the Armageddon Knight. Um, and he is going to go ahead and, uh, Necker Garden effect there to protect his armed wing. We will go ahead and pitch a dandy and get two tokens. So that we were nice and, uh, nice and insulated over any, uh, any shenanigans that he goes for some direct damage. He will go ahead and swing over clear ancient fairy drill warrior effect. will come back. We're going to go ahead and add, let's see, do we add dandy? Yes, we are going to go ahead and add dandy. I think right near here, I'm kind of hoping to like draw into an avarice. So that way I can go ahead and start drawing. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and pitch a wolf. Why did we pinch wolf right here? Oh, we're going to summon debris. We're going to card trooper. We're going to card trooper again. One, two, three. We do actually get some good stuff in there. And I think we go for black. Yeah. Or no. Okay. We're going to go for um, eight. We're going to bring out stardust. We're going to enter battle. Swing over the arm wing. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it on over. Let's see. Our opponent does draw into brain control. I think that might be game. If that's a Ryko down there. Okay, so he's going to summon out the Gale. He's going to go affect the half. He's going to flip the hamster. And grab a Ryko. I'm kind of, I kind of forget what happened here. Okay, so he swings in, clears the token. Uh, then he's going to go ahead and pass it over to me. We'll go ahead and draw, grab back our Drill Warrior. Let's see, I think we go ahead and just grab Stardust, or not Stardust, um, Debris here, right? Yeah, we do have the Debris. We are going to go Effective Banish. We're going to go ahead and pitch the Dandy. We're gonna go ahead and Avarice, go ahead and target a bunch of our Synchros and a couple of the cards we just wanna go ahead and put back in the deck. It does resolve, there was no Crow, thankfully. And we do still have our normal summon here. Okay, there we go, we draw into a heavy. We're gonna go ahead and uh, Black Rose the board here. Our opponent was uh, setting up the bluff pretty good, pretty good. I was like definitely trying not to like swing into it. So he will go ahead and summon out the Lila. He'll swing over a token, end phase, go ahead and mill. We'll go ahead and grab back our uh, Drew Warrior. So, yeah, I feel like we do. Either we go for the Debris or we go for the Lone Fire. We do go for the Lone Fire. We're going to go ahead and summon the Lone Fire. Effect, Tribute. 
I think we tribute, yeah, we tribute the token, break out Titanial. Uh, now we're just going to start getting in some good damage. We're going to enter battle, swing over for 11, swing in for 24, and for 35 total. We'll go ahead and banish the Drill Warrior, pitch in a Raikou, and pass the turn. He's going to go ahead and summon out Card Trooper. He will mill three. Uh, he does mill Sirocco. I don't think he has a Vayu in the graveyard, does he? Uh, he does not. So he will go ahead and swing over the uh, the Dandelion. Not a Dandelion, the uh, Lone Fire. And we're going to go ahead and draw or draw for turn. Uh, draw where I grab. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> grab. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my brain is just not functioning right now. We go ahead and grab our Dandy. And we're going to go ahead and uh, summon out the Sanka and uh, just enter battle. And then that is going to be a wrap for round number one. All right, coming into round number two, we got Sean here uh, versus Br Brandon, Brian. I think it's Brandon. Or Brian. He was Brian. Uh, uh, once again, my brain's uh, total mush right here. Uh, but he, I believe. Oh. Oh, wait, he's playing something different this time. He's not playing the Amaryllis deck. What? Oh my goodness. Looks like he's, okay, so he's playing, I would assume possibly value turbo. So because he does summon out the Griffer, Griffer effect, we're gonna go ahead and pitch. Go ahead and get a graveyard set up for the value play. John will go ahead and summon out the Stratos. Go ahead and swing in. It will eat a deep prison, which is fine. We will go ahead and set a back row and pass it back over. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and draw for turn. We're going to enter battle, swing it for 17. And we're going to set a Raikou. Yeah, it is Vayu Turbo. We're setting the Raikou, setting the back row. Ash, I'm going to go ahead and draw, upstart, draw into upstart, and upstart again. Uh, as some not alias, swing over the Graffer for 200. And do we set any additional back row at all? Okay, we are going to go ahead and Gemini Spartan pop in the face down Raikou. Get our draw on, and then pass it back over. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and summon out Card Trooper. Card Trooper effect for three. Ooh, we get not that terrible of mills. It sucks that the return's gone, but getting a value in there and then also getting Blake in there is pretty good. We will go ahead and the value effect. That will go ahead and eat a Torrential, but we'll get a draw off of that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, value effect again to go ahead and bring out uh, Armor Master. We're going to go ahead and enter battle, swing in for 25. And then Sean will go ahead and drop the gores. And then we'll go ahead and pass it over to Sean. Sean will go ahead and activate Heavy Storm, hitting the oppression that was face down. We'll go ahead and summon out Diva. Diva will grab Gilman. Uh, we're going to go ahead and synchro. Go ahead and make. Okay, we can go ahead and make um, the Psychic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Miracle Fusion. And uh, this is going to be game, I believe. Okay, swing in for 25, swing in for 24, swing in for 25. Okay, it's not a game, but uh, with that board, uh, very, very intimidating. Uh, let's see, we got Gores, we got Absolute, we have Android, and Gores Token. Everything over, t uh, what is it, 2400. All right, so we're gonna summon out the Sirocco. We're gonna go ahead and stack for Plague. And then, ooh, we are gonna Black Rose here and go ahead and clear that board up. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it over to Sean. Sean will go ahead and draw for the turn. We're going to go ahead and summon D.Va. D.Va will go ahead and grab Gilman. We're going to go ahead and synchro for another Android and swing in for game. All right, Sean goes ahead and takes round or game number one. Also, uh, for anyone out there that wants to support me a little bit more directly, uh, I do have a Patreon. Uh, definitely do check the link tree link down below. Uh, you will have to copy and paste it into your browser because YouTube, for whatever reason, won't let me put links down in the comment or down in the description. It's really annoying, but if y'all want to support the channel a little bit more, you know, uh, it is uh, very much greatly appreciated. And uh, I will be having tech lists on there soon uh, once my brain decides to uh, stop hating myself and want to stay awake for longer than... Uh, the day the, the day the the hours i'm awake in the day all right so we're gonna go ahead and set a set a monster set a back row and pass 
Uh, Sean will go ahead and draw. He will go ahead and embassy the back row, which was a D prison, but he will swing him with the alias. Eat a snowman eater. Snowman will pop alias. And Sean will go ahead and set a card and pass. Uh, we will draw MST in the return. And we'll go ahead and hit the bottom of the souls back there. We are going to go ahead and summon out the Greffer. Enter battle, swing him for 17, send back row, pass it back over to Sean. Sean will now heavy storm and clear the back row. We'll go ahead and summon out the alias and then swing in over the Greffer. All right, we're going to pass it back over. We're going to draw first turn. Let's see, we're going to go. We do have Rhoda return. Okay, so we are going to go summon out the Gale, Gale effect to have. And then we're going to go ahead and synchro for Goyo Guardian. We're going to enter battle. It will eat the Honest, unfortunately. And then we're going to... Do we set anything here? Oh, we are going to set. Okay. We are going to set the return. So we're going to swing in for 950. Or, right? It is 950, right? Yeah, 950. And then we're going to summon out Ocean and then pass it back over. We're gonna go ahead and draw for turn. We're gonna go ahead and Rota. Probably go for a throw rougher here, I'd assume. Just that way, go ahead and clear over the ocean. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're gonna go for Armageddon Knight. Pitch a plague. Now uh, we're gonna go plague effect here, I'd assume. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go Plague Effect, Synchro. All right. We're going to go ahead and go into Goyo. I just, or no, we're going to go Bryo. Uh, let's see. We're going to go Enter Battle here, I assume. Yeah. We swing over the ocean because we don't want the recursion to happen. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it back over. I'm going to go ahead and draw. He'll go ahead and draw into Miracle Fusion. Pretty huge. And now we're going to go ahead and swing over for a lot and swing in for another 950. Uh, set a back row and pass it back over. We're going to go ahead and draw. Do we draw into a monster here? We did. We drew into the grand wall. We're going to enter battle, swing, bounce the absolute, and pass it over. We'll go ahead and take another 950. Sean will set another back row and pass it back over. We really don't want to put that alias back to hand. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just keep on eating the 950s. Let's see, Sean will send another back row and pass. We are going to go ahead and Gemini Spark hit the new set, which was an impression. We will go Hero Blast, summon up the alias. Alias will go ahead and swing. We'll go ahead and take the 19, bring it down to 9 or 450, set a back row and pass it back over. Let's see, what? It looks like we have, do we do have a graph in hand now? So what will we do with it? Um, there, because we do also have the return set, so we can also just bring back our plague. Okay, so we're gonna summon out Grand Mall, and then yeah, we're gonna go ahead. And, oh. Dust the back row, and then we're going to go ahead and compulse the monster. Just swing in for a game right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Sean out here just destroying people. It's so unfortunate. All right, so here we go. Heading into round number three. We have the two best friends playing against each other. All right, we got Noah over here on the right, and we got uh, the homie Patrick over here on the left. Uh, we have everyone hates Patrick on the left. And we have Noah, um, my, uh, what was it? 3v3 partner that uh, learned very, very intensely how, how one tournament could really just like ruin your weekend. <laughs> All right. So it looks like, I, I think Noah just won that one. I think Noah's going first. All right. Oh, no. Patrick's going first. Okay. Patrick won the die roll. He'll go first. He'll go ahead and future fusion. Um, we're going to go ahead and send a diva, and we're going to go ahead and send an alias. Oh, no, never mind. We're not going to send an alias. We're going to go ahead and send a ocean. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and summon out diva. Do you go ahead and grab Gilman, I'd assume? Yes, it will. We'll go ahead and synchro. Go ahead and make Android. Set a... Do we set a back row? Yes, we will set one back row. 
and pass the turn. We are going to go ahead and draw for turn. We're going to go ahead and summon out Soroko. We're going to go ahead and enter battle. Damage that we're going to go ahead and include and clear the android. We'll set two back home and pass it back over to Patrick. Patrick will go ahead and draw. Turn one on Fusion Fusion. We're going to go ahead and normal summon the D.Va. We're going to go D.Va effect. I'm going to go D.Va effect to go ahead and grab the other Gilman. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to go ahead and Synchro. We're going to go ahead and grab the Android. The Android will eat a Bottomless. We'll go ahead and set a back row and pass the turn. Uh, no, we'll go ahead and Icarus attack, hitting the new set and the Fuji Fusion. Um, we're going to go ahead and summon out the Blizzard. And then we're going to go ahead and make our own Android. And then we're going to set a back row and pass it over to Patrick. Patrick will go ahead and draw for turn. He's going to go ahead and summon out the alias. We're going to go ahead and do we, are we doing anything here? Oh no, we're going to summon out the alias, set two additional back row and pass. We're going to go ahead and enter battle, swing in. We won't eat the deep prison. And then we're going to go main phase to summon out the Bora. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it back over to Patrick. Patrick will go ahead and draw for turn. We're going to go ahead and enter battle. We're going to go ahead and swing in on the Bora which will eat a clute, and we're going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, we will go ahead and e-call, go ahead and grab Stratos, throw off some Stratos, and then we're going to go ahead and grab another alias, and then we'll pass it back over to Noah. Noah will go ahead and draw for turn. We'll go ahead and summon out the Shura. We'll go ahead and book moon the Shura on attack declaration, and then we're going to go ahead and MST the back row on the end phase. We are going to go ahead and summon out the alias, and then we're going to go ahead and clear up Noah's board, setting a back row in the process, and passing it back over. Noah will go ahead and draw, pass it over to, um, pass it over to Patrick, and he's going to go ahead and call the haunted back the ocean, and he's going to go ahead and effect, go ahead and grab an alias, and then he's going to go ahead and miracle fusion. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for game number one, Patrick, taking game number one. And absolutely just shitting on his uh, best friend's life. All right, so we're going to go ahead and skip through the siding. Noah will go first. He'll set two back row and pass it over. Uh, Patrick will go ahead and draw for turn. Summon out the Gilman that was unfortunately in his hand. And we're going to swing it for 17. That will connect. We will set a back row and pass it over to Noah. Noah will go ahead and draw. We are going to go ahead and it looks like... Is he gonna it looks like he's gonna special summon the cyber dragon? Yes, he is. He's gonna special summon the cyber dragon. Cyber dragon's fine. We're gonna go ahead and dorm summon the Shiro. We will special summon the Bora. We will enter battle, swing over with the Bora, but it will eat a dig prison. So instead we'll swing in with the Cyber Dragon, clear the Gilman, then the swinger for 17, set a back row, and pass it over. Uh we are gonna go ahead and summon out the alias. Uh nothing in response to the summon. We will enter battle. We are gonna go ahead and swing in over the Bora. But we will go ahead and Gemini Spark. And we'll go ahead and pump the Cyber Dragon. But we will go ahead and draw a card. Uh, we will go ahead and Miracle Fusion. But that will go ahead and eat an Oppression. And then we're going to pass it over to Noah. Noah will then go ahead and swing in for 17. And that will connect. And then we'll go ahead and pass turn. We're going to go ahead and Normal Summon the Stratos. Stratos will go ahead and search out for an Ocean. And then we're, I assume we're going to, yeah, we're going to attempt to swing over. It will swing over the Bora. We'll set a back row and pass. Let's see. No, it will go ahead and go. He does have brain control and then blizzard in hand. He's thinking about just normal summoning the Sirocco he also has in hand. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and brain control. That will eat a a combos to return that to hand. So now what will Noah do? Okay, he's just gonna normal summon the blizzard. And he's gonna just gonna swing in for 13, get some more damage in. Uh we're gonna go ahead and summon out the alias. We're gonna go ahead and swing over and pass the turn. We're gonna go ahead and summon out the Soroko. And then swing over the alias and pass it back over. We will go ahead and heavy storm. Hitting the oppression, and now he turns our miracle that we had in hand on, and we'll go ahead and miracle, bring out the absolute, and okay, we're going to summon up the ocean, we're going to enter battle, swing over for 2,000, swing in for 15, 
and then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn we will go stand by main we're gonna special summon out dad we will go ahead Ooh. so we also do know that patrick does have stratos in hand so uh we do kind of have to pop the ocean Oh, never right. We're going to sub it out the Shura. We're going to swing over the ocean. We're going to go ahead and grab a Vayu. And are we going to swing over and just let our board die? Oh, no. We'll just go ahead and banish. Okay, gotcha. And then we're going to bring up Bora. Or no, um, Armored Wing in the main phase two. Patrick will go ahead and draw for turn. We are going to go ahead and go in by main we'll go ahead and key set and pass it on over oh looks like uh i think noah did forget to go ahead and take away another 500 from the absolute there which is why there's a little bit of a life point uh discrepancy yeah that's what it was okay so we'll go ahead and decent pass pass it over no no we'll go ahead and draw we activate a lure we're gonna go ahead and let's see what are we doing here what are we doing what are we banishing is the real question i don't think we banished the sirocco right Oh, well, we do manage the Sirocco. Okay. We're going to summon out a Bora. We're going to enter battle. Swing. Uh, we will take a little bit, but we will go ahead and banish. And then we'll go ahead and take a 23, bringing us down to 100. Patrick will go ahead and draw for turn. Let's see. What does he have? He'll go ahead and summon out the Stratos. Grab an alias. Set a back row and pass it on over. We're going to enter battle. We are going to go ahead and swing. I will go ahead and hit, eat a D prison. And then we're going to special summon out the cyber dragon and pass the turn, I believe. Yeah, we do have the Gemini Spark to pop, and that will be it oof RIP is the no <laughs> uh so let's see that is it for round number three we'll go ahead and skip forward a little bit here we go we got patrick versus brian i'm gonna say uh patrick will go ahead and summon out the alias go ahead and trap dust you go ahead and spend some cards back uh we are gonna go ahead and go rodo to go ahead and grab the greffer Oh, so I think we spun back the I'm playing, was it? All right, so we're going to brain control the alias. I'm going to summon out the gruffer. We're going to... Oh, I didn't catch, but he put back. We will send back the... We'll ditch the plague. Send a Vayu. We're going to go ahead. I think we just go enter battle here. Oh, no, never mind. We're just going to go uh, Vayu effect. We're going to go ahead and synchro. Grab Goyo. Enter battle for 17. Enter battle for 28. And then we'll go ahead and set a back row and pass it on over. Actually, we'll go ahead and draw. He'll go ahead and hit the heavy storm. We're going to summon out alias, swing over the greffer, set a back row and pass. We'll go ahead and draw, enter battle. We'll go ahead and eat deep prison, set a card and pass. Actually, we'll go ahead and draw, enter battle, swing in for 19, pass. We'll go ahead and draw, set a back row and pass it back over to Patrick. We'll eat another 19. Patrick set a back row. We'll go ahead and... <laughs> Draw for turn and pass it on over. Patrick will go ahead and swing in for another 19. And uh, is that going to be it? I think that is it. Yep, that is it. Patrick goes ahead and takes game number one. Uh, Dust Shoot is a very, very good card. All right, we're just going to we're just gonna leave it at that. It is a very, very good card. All right, we don't, we don't want to see Patrick win here. All right, everyone. That's what we don't want to see. We don't want Patrick getting an inflated ego. He's already getting a little bit of an inflated ego since he's in top eight right now but we want to put that to an end, all right? We want to see him 
just on the edge of top eight by the end of the season, which is in a couple weeks, by the way. So uh, we will go ahead and T set and pass and pass it back over to Patrick. Patrick will go ahead and uh, summon up the Stratos, clear the back, uh, clear the monster, which was a value, set a card and passed it over. We're gonna go ahead and activate the Pro Set Heavy, <laughs> hitting the MS the Pro Set MST. And let's see, what will we do from this position? All right, we're gonna go ahead and summon out our recanding. When are we gonna? I assume we're just gonna send a Sirocco, right? And then go value effect. No, we're gonna go ahead and send the plague. All right. We're gonna stack from plague. We'll go ahead and synchro. Make okay. We'll make Goyo again. We'll enter battle. Swing over. We'll deal a thousand. Grab the Stratos. We'll set a back row and pass it over. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and draw for turn. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon the alias. We're gonna go swing in over the Stratos. And then we'll go ahead and Gemini Spark the the Goyo Guardian. Ooh. All right, and then we'll pass it over. We're going to go ahead and normal summon the Kaiku. We're going to enter battle. We'll go ahead and banish those two monsters. Ooh, Kaiku's such a good card, but we will it will go into Angors, uh, which is uh, a little sad. <laughs> which is a little sad. So we'll go ahead and pass it back over to Patrick. Patrick will go ahead and draw for a turn. We're going to go ahead and activate future fusion. Okay. All right. Might as well use it since you have it. So we'll send an alias and we'll go ahead and send a diva to soon. Oh no, we're going to send Gilman. We're sending the Gilman. Wait, what? Why? All right. So we'll switch the gores to attack. We'll enter battle. And we'll swing over the Kaiku. Do a little bit of damage. Set a back row and then pass it over. We're going to go ahead and draw for turn. Looks like we drew into a D prison. Unfortunately, one turn too late. We're going to go activate brain control on the gores, I'd assume. Yes, we will. We're going to enter battle, clear the token. And then we're going to hunt tribute for Sirocco, send it back around the process and pass it over. Turn one on future fusion. We're going to go ahead and normal summon Diva. Diva will go ahead and grab another Gilman, I'd assume. Yes, it will. Looks like we're going to go ahead and synchro for a... Android, I'd assume, right? Yeah, we're gonna go Android. I assume we'll go enter battle here. Or we're just gonna sit on it, is the question. Oh, uh, yeah, so we will go ahead and enter battle swing, and it is gonna go ahead and eat a D prison. Unless that back row from Patrick is a solemn, and it is a solemn. Ow, oh, dang. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, deal in 400. And then we're going to go again, gain our 600 at the end phase. We'll go ahead and draw for turn. Do we go value effect here? Does value effect even do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay, so we're not going to do anything. Uh, standby. Uh, absolutely will come out, but it will eat a torrential. Okay, so we're going to summon out the grand mole. And then we're going to go ahead and deal 900 and pass it on over. All right, so how are we going to do this? All right, our graveyard is actually pretty set. All right, so we're going to summon out Sirocco. We're going to go value effect. We're going to go ahead and bring out the armed wing. We're going to swing in with Sirocco to go ahead and balance. Swing in for 23 and leaving Patrick at 900. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. We're gonna go ahead and summon out Grand Mole. We will go ahead uh, to bounce the Synchro, set a back row and pass. We'll go ahead and set a card, which is a looks like a pulling the rug. And then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. We're gonna go ahead and draw. I feel like we just go ahead and just keep on summoning the Grand Mole here. And just keep on getting in that value. Yes, we will. We'll swing in for another 900 and set a back row and pass the turn. We'll go ahead. We just need to see a monster all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and set a monster set a back row and pass the turn we're gonna go ahead and go stand by main we're gonna nobleman of cross out and we're gonna hit the so oh my goodness wow the nobleman 
coming in. All right, so we're gonna swing for 900. We're gonna swing in for 15. I'm gonna pass the turn. We will go ahead and draw into a value, which we will set and we will pass. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stand by it. We're gonna go ahead and grab back, uh, stand by ocean effect, grab back an alias. And we'll go into main phase. We're gonna summon up the alias, enter battle, grand mold to bounce. And oh my goodness, Patrick goes ahead and takes the game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my Lanta, man. All right, well, congratulations to Patrick for going ahead and coming out of the victory for today. And uh, yeah, this is once again from uh, March the 2nd over at Gameology. And yeah, that's really it. Don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you all a bunch, and I will see y'all in the next one. Uh, deuces.